Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate on how you can fully jailbreak your Fire Stick, enabling you to access a library full with exclusive applications. Make sure to stick around till the end because I will share with you three applications that I absolutely love to use. So how about we don't waste any more time and we dive right into it. So before we go any further, a quick note, no matter your level of experience, this journey is for everyone. All you have to do is follow each step carefully and fully till the end for the best results. And the first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna go to the top right corner to the settings gear on our Fire Stick and we're gonna click select. We're gonna go down and we're gonna select my Fire TV. Select button is this one right here. And here we'll have a few options, select about. And then again, you'll have a few options here. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna enable developer options. It's very easy to do that. All you have to do is click on Fire TV stick or whatever model name you have, hit select for seven times. After that, you will become a developer. After you're a developer, you can press the return button and you will see the developer options appearing. We'll come back here later. For now, you can press the home button and we're gonna search for an application. Go to the search magnifier, press down and select on the search bar. And we're gonna type in downloader. After already pressing and hitting the Ds, you will see the downloader name appearing. Just click select. You'll be taken here. You're gonna click select one more time. It will let you view the application. And all you have to do is hit select one more time to confirm you wanna download and install it. So now we wait patiently. After that is done, you can hit select again to open up the download app we just downloaded. First time opening it, it's gonna pop up a message to allow access, which you are gonna click select again. And one more time, select to remove this window. And here we'll have a few options. Uh, before we continue here, you want to press the home button and you want to go back to the settings gear all the way on the top right corner, click down and go into my Fire TV. This time we're going into the developer options, just click select and make sure to toggle on debugging as I have it toggled on right now. Press down, hit select and you want to make sure to toggle on downloader so we'll able we'll be able to download and install apps directly from the downloader app after it's toggled on press the home button and you want to go back to the downloader app we just installed for me it's right here and this time you want to go to the search bar hit select and type in a code the code is going to be two three four seven five and then you want to press the play button on your remote control. It will automatically connect and select this code. And again, you just have to wait patiently, but you do have to hit accept right here. But my face is in front of it. Just go down, scroll down until you hover over the blue button like I am. And that's it. Now it's going to load up, count down and connect to this application. It's going to connect again going to download it, it's going to pop up this message and ask if you want to install it. What you have to do here is you have to select down and right to hover over the install button like you see it with me. Then you can hit select and it will start installing this application. And it's done already. That's how fast this is. What you want to do now is you want to press the home button. We don't need to um, open it up yet. Just press the home button and go back to the settings gear on the top right corner. Go down, click on my Fire TV again. And this is the last time we're doing this. Hit return if you're back in this window and you wanna hit select again to install unknown apps. And you wanna toggle on the app we just installed. After that is done, you're practically ready and we don't need to come back here. Just press the home button and find the app we just installed. Probably most likely in your app section right here. Go all the way down and there you have it next to the downloader app. Hit select to open it up. And this is the side loading, the jailbreaking part. Of course, we're not actually jailbreaking a Fire Stick. We're side loading it and we're enabling to access a library with the best applications out there. So to add the library, you need a code word. You want to hit select to open up the keyboard and we're gonna type in the code word that is gonna be Android Tweaks. Make sure to spell it exactly like I do, Android Tweaks. So you're missing the D from Android and it will be re replaced with Tweaks. So you can see it clearly right here, Android Tweaks. Hit select after you're done 
it's gonna load up this library. Unfortunately, from here on out, um, until parts of it, you cannot see everything clearly, but I will explain to you what we're seeing. When you enter the library, you will see a welcoming message. It's very important for you to read it if you want the best of the best quality. So this library has over 70 applications that get updated regularly and each and, one, each and every one of them is specialized in its own way. But if you want an all-in-one solution, the best of the best apps that I use on a day-to-day -day base, you wanna follow the link in that welcoming message and get yourself a sub. That being said, let's enter the library. And if for some what reason you cannot enter the library or any parts of this video is not working, most likely your internet provider is blocking it. And we have a solution for that. You can get a VPN to solve that issue. So I have a free version that you can use and a paid version. The free version is called Proton VPN. You will also find it in this library. And the paid version is gonna be called NordVPN. NordVPN is overall the best in the world. You have the possibility to connect anywhere you want. In Proton VPN, you can only connect to one location. That being said, if you have the funds for it, go for NordVPN. If you don't have, for, have the funds for it, go ahead and get Proton VPN. And I highly recommend everyone using one of the two options. That being said, check out the huge discount link in the description for NordVPN. In some countries, you might need a VPN to make this work. That being said, unlock a world of online freedom and security with NordVPN by using our exclusive discount code. This will give you ultimate privacy, access to all content and much, much more. Check out the discount link in the description. Okay, so that's uh, pretty clear. Now entering the store, you will first see a bunch of apps and all files. You wanna scroll down because we categorized everything. The first one, uh, the top row in this case with the number one apps are the apps that I use. You will find NordVPN and you will find ProtonVPN if you need that. That being said, uh, you will also see the apps that I like to use. In the beginning of the video, I shared with you, uh, I will share three apps that I use on a day-to-day -day base. Those are the three apps that I use. That being said, scroll down one more time, you will find adult applications for anyone that's a bit kinky. If you go down more, you will have more libraries that you can access within this library. So you don't need anything else except this. Going further down, you will see Kodi, live content, on-demand content, recommended tools, and once again, tools. From here on out, you will be able to follow the video clearly. So I'm just gonna demonstrate on how to install one of these exclusive applications. This is a bit less exclusive, of course, but I can also demonstrate on how it works. That being said, how do you download it? You just select the app you want, select one more time to download and select one more time after it pops up this menu it is popping up this menu and you can click install and that's it so let's check it out how it looks like press the home button go to your apps scroll down and there you see the app we just installed hit on it or hit select and it will free up all the memory and background apps so this is an app closer that being said i believe this video has come to an end let me know in the comment section give me some feedback thank you all for watching and don't forget i'll see you in the next one peace